beyond the demand and all that supply commission. That's fundamental, but that's now a newer trend to it, and that's the real issue. As long as your manufacturers are not getting the money, you're having oil bunkery, right? So you're not reaching the OPEC standard for your quota system. As long as you have people storing this money, right? As long as no FDI coming in, right? So the balance of trade never happens, right? So what happens is that you're going to have enough, of course, more demand than supply of, of, of dollars. And that's the first fundamental problem. And I think people need to understand that. And the solution to it is also very simple. Just keep it moving. If there are policies that have to say, look, it's not OK. I mean, the same thing you see with almost everything in housing. There's a housing deficit, but the average guy who has enough money has seven houses and still lives in a hotel, right? And then there are people who don't have houses. If there's a policy that says you could, you, it's almost impossible for you to have a house that is empty and not pay extra tax, you can't keep dollars as a domiciliary means, right? And leave it there for a while and hope that your, your balance of trade will be balanced enough for the Naira to gain value. It would always keep reducing in value. It's very, this macroeconomics 101 is Adam Smith fund, fundamental principle. And of course, all this is monetary policy. But don't forget, economics is not about monetary policy. It's an interdependency between monetary policy and fiscal policy. Why they're putting too much pressure on CBN, there is another yin yang to it. Right, because monetary policy and fiscal policy mix up macroeconomics. Monetary policy is about uh, FX, inflation, and all that flow. But the second part is where we don't understand. Government spending is another fundamental problem, right? And taxation, because fiscal policy is government spending, taxation, and customs. Every time the customs brags and says we make more money, right? A factory is probably closing down. So a win for inflow from importation, right, is a loss for factories. So CBM policy is not enough. The solution to Nigeria's problem is not in CBM policies. It's actually in factories and warehouses. As long as the warehouses are locked, the factories are shut down, there's no security, there's no power. Like Nigeria see on the street, just they play. Right, you know, I really love the analogy and the touch of sarcasm that you had uh, there, <laughs> because it just shows us that, of course, where there is